Hi everyone, I'm J.D. Hoovener, your host of The Bold Today Show, where you, the inventor, entrepreneur, or business owner, get your daily dose of inspiration to make the world a better place. I'm so glad you made it here. Thank you for joining, and happy Friday to all those listeners. I'm excited to continue. Uh, this is our last session talking about software patents and how they've been changing the world lately. Uh, they are by far and away the most prevalent applications that are getting filed today, and it's pertinent that you know, as an inventor, you know, as a business owner, someone that's moving the ball forward, how software impl impacts intellectual property in your business today. So in this last section, we're going to talk about a very interesting case that was decided in 2018, yeah, this year, uh, put down by the, C the Supreme Court. This is Atrix Software versus Green Shade Software, right? So this is a, this is a decision that was, that's going to be groundbreaking. As we've discussed, how a lot of the decisions that have come down lately um, about software for the past several years have been invalidating them. Right After the big CLS Bank and Alice case, those cases said, look, this patent is not eligible and is no longer allowed uh, in the system and it's not going to be something that the government is going to enforce uh, as a valid patent against anyone infringing those claims which are no longer valid because it's akin to an abstract idea. Uh, the, what's being claimed is so abstract and amorphous that it's hard to pin down and we're not gonna enforce it. What this says is that that very first evaluation, before they see whether the claims are being infringed or not, they do this assessment, as we've been talking about, to see whether it is an abstract idea or not. And up until now, up until you know, early this year, 2018, uh, the judges have been making this decision as a matter of law. What that means is that the, the jury doesn't get to say that there's very little evidence uh, and, and in the federal uh, rules of um, uh, procedure, you know, civil procedure, uh, the, the, the rule is 12B6. And this is a motion to dismiss. This is saying, look, these people don't even have a big enough of case. This, based on our allegations, you judge should be able to make a ruling on this case without even looking at the evidence without opening it up to a juror. And the courts have just this year said, you know what? This decision on patent eligibility is a matter of fact. And when it's a matter of fact versus a matter of law, that's a huge difference because no longer can the judge make a decision because they need to look at the facts. And the fact finder, usually if it goes to trial, would be uh, at the, uh, the bequest or the, the decision by the jury. Um, about a set of facts. So it's gonna big uh, win for inventors and those that have patent rights to not have to get squashed before they actually get their fair day in court. So this has been a fun series for you about learning about software and how it impacts uh, your life and your business. Uh, please give us a call um, or put a comment below about what it means to you uh, about this decision um, and all the other cases that we mentioned this week. Uh, and of course, give us a call or go to our email uh, info at boldip.com. Go for our website at boldpatents.com. We'd be happy to talk with you. I'm your host, J.D. Hoovener of The Bold Today Show. and Everyone have a great weekend. Go big, go bold. Go big, go bold at boldip.com.